We're here with Dr. Noam Chomsky at the Peace March. Dr. Chomsky, do demonstrations like this make a difference? Oh yeah, they make a huge difference. In fact, uh, they reach two different constituencies. They, uh, they're noticed by people in power and they worry them. And they have to adjust at least their tactics and ultimately their policies. But uh, more important than that, they reach the demonstrators and the community that they are a part of and uh, just inspire them to go on to what really matters, which is day-to-day uh, -day activities that uh, go on you know, in the, and do our, the big demonstrations, big mass actions are an important part of it, but they're only a part. I mean, the main part is just changing understanding, activism, engagement, and sure, it makes a difference. Uh, look where we are as compared with, say, 40 years ago. Much improvement. What's your assessment of the peace movement today? Last year when the war was about to begin, there were millions of people marching around the world and making their voices heard. What's your assessment of the situation today? Well, the, what happened last year is astonishing. It was the first time in centuries of European imperialism, counting U.S. and Canada, first time ever that there had been a huge mass popular protest against a war before it even was started. And that's unprecedented. Uh, and uh, it, it just is, lays the basis for going on from there. It certainly put a... Uh, it, it, it certainly slowed down the... Uh, uh, drive to further aggression, and it's laid the basis for more organizing, more activism. Uh, today's another. Uh, these are all new things. They've never happened before. I mean, just think of uh, Vietnam. I mean, it was years before you had any protests at all, none. You know? And even when it finally ended, it was about peripheral issues, like uh, the bombing of the North, which was real, but not the war. You know? This week, uh, there have been events in Spain and, and to some extent in Poland which seem to have begun to change the, uh, the situation. What's your assessment of the events in Spain last week and what do you think is likely to happen in Poland and in other countries of the so-called Coalition of the Willing? Well, what happened in Spain is actually being very seriously misreported. Uh, what happened in Spain is that the population took the same position as the overwhelming majority of the population of the United States. They did not say they would withdraw troops. They said they wouldn't keep them there under uh, U.S. command. Uh, but, you know, as far back as April, a large majority of people in the U.S. have been in favor of handing uh, control over uh, to the U.N. Apparently Iraqis want the same thing. Spanish want the same thing. Uh, what it shows is that uh, Bush, uh, Blair, and the people around them are even more isolated, even from our own populations, than they were before. They, and the issue is, will the U.S. hand sovereignty over to the Iraqis? Bush, Blair, and the rest say no. The population of the United States says yes, overwhelmingly. The Spanish people just voted yes. The Iraqis overwhelmingly say yes. That's the issue. Uh, the saying that they caved into terrorism is just a cover for apologists for violence. With increased pressure on Bush and Blair, what are the chances of a, ch of a, uh, a dramatic change in what's happening in the Middle East? What are the chances that power in Iraq will be handed, that the military in Iraq will be handed over to the United Nations? Well, no, that's, uh, no, no point speculating about those things. The point is to do something about them. I mean, most of the struggle is there in Iraq. I mean, we, it, it's our responsibility, really to see that it is that the U.S. is does get out. But that's our responsibility here. We can't shirk it and leave it to the people under the whip. Uh, and about that, uh, there really isn't any point speculating. We just do something about it. One last question. The peace movement in the United States, in the United States what do we know about it? How strong is it? What kinds of actions are they taking? And what likelihood is there that they will have some impact on the Bush government? Well, it's uh, stronger than it's ever been, but what the effect will be, uh, again, not at any point speculating. I mean, it's an extremely broad movement. You have to remember that the U.S. population is very frightened. I mean, about probably over half the population still believes that, uh, uh, you know, Iraq had weapons of mass destruction, was involved in 9-11, and those people are frightened. And the people who run the government were the same runs who ran it in the 1980s know, just as they knew then, that if they terrify people enough, uh, they can get away with a lot of things. In fact, what they're really getting away with is shafting the American population. 
It's one of the reasons why they have to keep uh, uh, screaming terror and frightening people. But it's split, and uh, there's plenty of opposition. Thank you very much, Dr. Noam Chomsky.